to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. On today's Healthy Living, we are highlighting how a vegan, meaning animal-free diet, can help treat type 2 diabetes. Let's now hear from Dr. Neil Bernard on what is a major cause of diabetes. It's important for us to understand the cause of diabetes. If I had a patient who had diabetes and I pulled out one muscle cell from their leg or their arm and I looked at it, blew it up big and, uh, with a microscope, we see the cause of diabetes. Keep in mind what, what this glucose that's built up in the blood is there for. It's supposed to power our cells. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to keep our muscle cells moving. Well, if, if the insulin key arrives at the surface of the cell and it can't open the channels to let glucose in, mm -hmm. why not? Well, if I look at this big muscle cell, I see that it looks different from a muscle cell from somebody who doesn't have diabetes. It looks different because it's full of little fat droplets. And imagine if I have a perfectly good key for my front door. And I go away, and I come back, and my key no longer opens the door. Because it's full of fat globules? Well, yeah, somebody put gum in my lock. It doesn't work any, very well. So if, if I have fat in my cells, it's not gum, but it could be fat from cheese, fat from meat, fat from eggs, and, or fat from a fryer grease or something like that. So to make it short and sweet, the cause of type 2 diabetes is when fat builds up in the cells, then insulin can no longer signal that cell to accept glucose. The answer to it is to get that fat out of the cell. How do I do it? Well, where does the fat come from? The fat comes from meat. It comes from cheese and other dairy products. Cheese is the worst about 70% fat, also eggs and cooking grease. To demonstrate how powerful animal fat is in its ability to create diabetes, Dr. Barnard and his colleagues ran an experiment funded by the U.S. National Institutes of Health. We made it rather simple, and that's an advantage of the vegan diet because the typical diabetes diet says you've got to count carbohydrate grams, they use exchange lists, of foods and it is a little bit complicated and some people find it quite tedious. The vegan diet, we actually had three rules. One is no animal products. That's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Keep oils really low. And the third was avoid sugars um, and things like white bread. But don't avoid healthy carbohydrates. So they could eat rice and they could eat pasta and they could eat sweet potatoes and yams and beans and, uh, to their heart's content. Those were the only rules. The first result was that the patients really liked it. These people were not vegans coming into it. They were eating all kinds of things. But they came into the study, and something has changed in the world. We had a control group following the American Diabetes Association diet. They did pretty well. They lost some weight, and their blood sugars came down. But the vegans lost significantly more weight. Their blood sugar control improved dramatically, and their cholesterol levels fell and other things improved as well. So it's clearly the preferable diet. Let me give you an example. There was a man who came into our study named Vance. Vance's father was dead by age 30. Wow. Vance was 31 when he was diagnosed with diabetes. He had been a Washington, D.C. policeman for 12 years. He said, you know, I know I'm overweight, not paying too much attention to my diet, eating a lot of barbecue, chicken, and so forth. We said, okay, those days are gone, Vance. Now it's time for you to follow a healthy diet. And we made it simple for him. So if you're, if you're eating bacon and eggs for breakfast, well, that's not vegetarian food. So throw that out and make a big bowl of oatmeal. Top it with cinnamon and raisins or whatever. You can have as much of it as you want. Or if you're more a fruit person, have a half a cantaloupe or some rye toast, no butter, or whatever. Those are good breakfast choices. For lunch, Vance liked chili, so he had a veggie chili. There's lots of vegetable chilies. Or a bean burrito or something like that. For dinner, if you went Italian, Instead of the spaghetti with a meat sauce, he had spaghetti with a tomato sauce. So it seemed to him like the easiest diet in the world because he didn't have to limit how much he ate. Well, as time went on, he lost weight, he lost weight, he lost weight. After a year, he had lost 60 pounds. Wow. His blood sugar, which had been out of control, came down so much his doctor sat him down and said, Vance, you've been on this diet. You don't have diabetes anymore. His doctor took him off his medicine. 
So basically, to sum it up, the benefits of a vegan diet for, for diabetes. Okay, number one, very gradually, very gently, your blood sugar cart starts coming down. Your weight comes down as well. Blood cholesterol comes down as well, very impressively. Similarly to what a cholesterol-lowering will, drug will do, we can do that with a vegan diet. And blood pressure comes down as well. Those are the big things. The little things, your digestion is better. So a person who's had chronic constipation, that's usually fixed in about 24 to 48 hours. It's that quick. If a person has arthritis, not everybody gets better, but many do. If people have migraines, that's better as well. Please join us next Monday for part two, Hair on Healthy Living, when we further explore the studies on treating diabetes with a vegan diet conducted by Drs. Neil Bernard and Gabriel Cousins. Science and Spirituality is coming up next right after Noteworthy News, so please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May your life flourish in well-being and vitality. Living for today's show, A Cure for Diabetes Through Veganism, in-depth with Drs. Neil Bernard and Gabriel Cousins. Diabetes is one of the most prevalent health challenges of our time. It has evolved to pandemic proportions, growing most rapidly in developing economies such as India and China and among poor and minority groups in developed nations. In this two-part series, we will explore the diets employed by two medical doctors, Neil Bernard, MD, and Gabriel Cousins, MD, whose patients have successfully controlled, reversed, and cured diabetes by following their advice. Dr. Neil Bernard is a physician and clinical researcher who recently completed a study on the effects of the vegan diet, which is an animal-free diet on controlling and reversing type 2 diabetes. The study, which is documented in his book, Dr. Neil Bernard's Program for Reversing Diabetes, was funded by the U.S. National Institute of Health and conducted by George Washington University and the University of Toronto in Canada. Dr. Bernard is also the director of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Dr. Gabriel Cousins is a medical doctor, a diplomat for the American Board of Holistic Medicine, and founder of the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center in Patagonia, Arizona. Dr. Cousins is an expert in the holistic application of raw vegan nutrition, supplements, and lifestyle changes to cure diabetes, overcome addictions, and many other health challenges. He has been working with diabetics in his private practice and has detailed his findings in his recently released book, There is a Cure for Diabetes. Dr. Cousins had invited six diabetics eating the standard American diet to the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center to demonstrate the rejuvenating power of curing diabetes with a raw vegan diet. His patient's journey was documented in a newly released movie titled Simply Raw, Reversing Diabetes in 30 Days. Dr. Cousins' experience is that the top three factors leading to diabetes are foods which convert to sugar, animal fats, and toxins, followed by several other factors which cause insulin resistance, such as smoking, caffeine, and white flour.